what is up? One of my Goodman units has broken. <laughs> I was leaving for work this morning, and I do park my work truck behind this RV gate. Couldn't help but to notice the compressor starting and stopping. Let's see if it's doing it now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn it off before it trips the internal protection. But uh, I have the feeling, if I'm to guess, potential relay. <laughs> Where's the potential relay? Oh, there it is. Okay, doing this in the dark here. Here's the old potential relay. Kickstart from the old KS1. So uh, I'm sure the points are just seized in that. So I just pulled it out. I had an extra um, three wire type potential relay just sitting there. I just used a capacitor out of that kit, out of a 521. So I just had that, that potential relay. So I just rewired it. How does it go? Five, two, one, common start run. Now, hopefully I hooked that up correctly as I was hanging upside down there. Let's see if this turd starts and stays running now. Yeah. It lives. Man, listen to that turd. The next thing that seems like it's probably gonna fail is gonna be that uh, condenser fan motor. One of these, I don't remember if it was this one or this one now, but in the summer, I heard one of these motors starting to uh, squeal when I came home one summer afternoon. And for shits and giggles, because again, they're Goodman units and I'm just gonna screw with them because that's the respect I have for them. And they deserve good new parts. I um, took one of those motors apart, polished the shafts and everything, and uh, <laughs> oiled the bearings and put it back together. Oh, and real quick, um, I did change the start capacitor also. Um, I had one of those in my garage. This one was, uh, I noticed when I pulled the wire off, it had some of that goo on it. So this was leaking probably from all the, you know, long duration of start current. These are only supposed to energize for a fraction of a second on each cycle, but it was pulling for a full two seconds and then tripping the internal protection of the compressor, so. So that leak, that's junk. Might go ahead and pop this open so you can take a look inside it. Here's the potential relay of taking it apart. And just as I suspected, the contacts are fused shut. See that? Oop, I'm getting it apart now, but banging on it popped it apart. But you can see they get pitted. And what they like to do is they usually fail closed and then it won't open. So the way these work is they're normally closed contacts and you have a certain rating on the windings here and it's like a pickup i think i believe you know what voltage it takes before as to get a strong enough magnetic field to where this will pull down and what it is is it's more than like say this unit is 230 volts single phase if you put 230 volts across this coil it is not strong enough to pull this plunger thing down or this lever it takes higher voltage and what happens is when the compressor motor gets turned and you have back EMF or electromagnetic force that's generated by the compressor between its inductive windings and the capacitor. And that's why if you read the voltage across the capacitor while it's running, guess what? You don't have your incoming voltage of 230 volts. You could have 380 volts, 400 volts, something like that. So when you pick these, usually they tell you what voltage they are for the pickup or what do they call it. And, uh, it's going to be higher than your 230 volts. So I don't know if that 305 means anything. It could be what it is. But basically, once the compressor's rotor gets turning, it makes back EMF. So the voltage is higher than 230. It is enough to finally have enough current to pull this down. And when it pulls it down, it pulls open that plunger there. And here it is the next morning. This is the usual... Goodman sound right here. It's of course louder than the 6.2 liter massive V8 in the F250. That's not me. That's the Goodman. <laughs> <laughs>